Hello there, I'm Ian Walsh, and this is OnlineLessonVideos.com, teaching a tune today that came in as a request to the site. It's in the key of A, and it's a very simple two-part melody. There are a lot of different versions of this tune out there, um, at least three different versions that I know of. This is more of a bluegrass version inspired by the playing of Bill Monroe and his band. Um, let's see, two parts, we're in standard tuning for this one. Right now, I'm going to give you a free sample of the tune Cotton Eyed Joe. Hope you enjoy my version of it. Okay, let's get right into learning this tune. We'll start with the first part, and we're going to be playing mostly on the A and the E string, a little bit of a ditty on the D string. And this tune is very repetitive, so we'll move quickly through the uh, melody, and we'll spend a lot of our time in this uh, video playing along together at slow speeds to jam tracks, working up to speed. So assuming you're good to go with the key of A major, where we start on the low A, and we're going to finish up on that high A, so two octaves of it there we can get going. One thing we will be doing is sliding around a lot. We're going to be using a lot of slides in the C natural to the C sharp position. And we start off with a couple of these notes right here. C, E, C, E. Okay, so pretty simple when you don't do anything else except for just play those notes. Down bow, up bow, down bow, up bow. Now we start making the sound a bit more blended, we just add a simple A, E double stop. And I'm already starting to slide in a little bit for each note. Okay, so all of a sudden it's starting to change in its, the way it sounds. Our next little part is E, F, E. And what I like to do for that E, F, E, the first E, I come in with a down bow a little bit early. So it gives it this sound. Again, that's a down bow. Okay, so we've got those simple notes. You're playing along with me, hopefully. And we're gonna add in the double stop again and sliding into our C sharps. Okay. Everything works very nicely uh, for double stops here. You get kind of a D reference here as you slide an F sharp up in and blend the A with it. It only happens for a second. Okay, so let's set this to a, a, a tempo that I'll count us into nice and slow and we can just cycle through it uh, about six times or so. We'll be starting right on the downbeat in that uh, starting sample. You heard me just kind of get the tempo, and uh, we can do that right now. One, two, three, four. And again. Okay, 
double stops. I'll go ahead and show you a couple more notes. This pretty much completes the, the first part of my version of this tune. We start on the A and a B. And again, this is all pretty standard notes for the key of A major. A, B, C, B, A, C, B, A, uh, F. And that's a pretty common run of notes too. It's like a descending note pattern. There's that F, we continue to that sharp three. And we end down on that E. Okay, now we can add in our double stops. Here we go, A and E when you're playing on the A string. Now we switch when we're going to the D string for some notes. We're going to switch to the D and the A string. And you don't have to do that. You, in fact, that gives it kind of a weird sound, I think, to leave down that um, G. So we're gonna let off. And you can do the D and the A, or you can move over to the A and the E. Okay, let's cycle through what we have so far. I'm gonna count us in. One, two, three, four. quick variation. This is one of my favorites to play when you're in this bluegrass style. This is a very edgy, almost, um, I feel as if it's an attack mode double stop. We're going to play a fifth. So play your C sharp and then play f um, five notes up from it and you're going to play that G in the sharp position. Play them together, it sounds very abrasive. So as you play your C sharps um, through the melody that we just learned, you can add in this double stop. Here's what it sounds like, two and three and. So that's just an idea for one variation. And as we continue on a little bit in this uh, video, I'll make sure and try to point out any other ornaments or variations that I might have done in that uh, first sample.